What the fuck? You ever have this shit happen? Where your fucking seatbelt gets stuck? Ah, oh, I hate this. Oh, shut up. Haha, I got her. Don't you hate it though? Like somehow this fucking folds over on you and then gets in there. You can't move your fucking seatbelt. Fuck, I hate that. It really burns my ass. Anyways, everybody, how's she going? What's going on? Got a hillbilly one here. Just on uh, lunch break today. Um, just on my way home, actually. Get some lunch. Just uh, out doing some running around at lunch for work. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed with my dog. Uh, there was a dead porcupine we found last week up at my old man's place. For whatever reason, it decided to uh, up and die right by his house. But anyways, the dog was hanging around something. We didn't know what it was. Didn't really care at first. He usually gets into stuff, I mean, compost and whatnot. So I figured it was something like that. No. <laughs> I seen him at it again, I was like, what is that? And I look, sure enough, there's a big dead porcupine there. That's the second dead one this year on Dad's property that we've noticed, so uh, something's killing them off. I don't know if it's Dad kind of thinks it might be the beech trees, because there was one of them eating beech trees, and they don't usually eat beech trees. There's probably a reason for that. Maybe because it kills them. Uh, so, anyways, we're hoping it's that one that is one of the ones that died anyways, because we don't need any more beech trees getting killed this year. Especially the one that they killed was a nice big one, mind you, it had to go anyways, it had diseases and whatnot. Well, a couple schooners in the bay. I'd show you, but with the camera you wouldn't see much. I did see the blue nose coming down this hill actually a couple weeks ago, but uh, if you guys are familiar with my area in Canada in general, you probably know about the blue nose. It's on our 10 cent piece, or, or our dime as we call it. It's, uh, it's a racing schooner a hundred years, a couple hundred years ago. They keep rebuilding it, keeping it around. I don't know why. <laughs> it is neat, but uh, the last time they rebuilt it, it was like twice as much as it should have been. They knew it was going to be, and they wrote the fucking contract so that basically somebody could line their pockets without a question. So that wasn't so cool, but you know what? It is what it is. At least we got it. You know, at least we got it. Fucking shirt's getting too tight. My arms are getting too big. I'm getting very too much buff. Huh? <laughs> like I could get too buff. I am getting in better shape though, it seems. You know, working will do that too. Oh, me boy, me boy. I don't know. The plan is for tonight, I'm up in the air with it. I keep wishing wash back and forth. Sucks trying to make plans, but you're indecisive, I'll tell you that. Oh, boy. So, yeah, I don't know. Fuck, what a beautiful day. I wish it could stay like this. It's even humid. Not usually humid in October, but I ain't complaining. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No, not like the problems. But I had to do that anyways. Just cause. Just cause, you know, cause. I don't know about people like your, around your area, but that's one of the things like, it's not so bad now, but there for a while, like fucking 10, 15 years ago, around here, everybody called everybody cuz. It's like, yo, what up, cuz? It pissed me off. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. I thought, you know, might as well just call somebody nigger. That's what it was replacing. It's mean, mostly black people who used it. I actually had somebody call. He's like, "Oh, cuz, what's up?" I was like, "I'm not your cousin, buddy." He's like, "No, no, cuz, cuz." I'm like, "Yeah, cousin, I'm not your cousin." He's like, "Don't you understand?" Like, ghetto lingo, ghetto hillbilly man. I invent ghetto lingo. But cuz is a stupid fucking thing to say. You know, it's like that new one. What's it? Bay, bay. B-A-E instead of babe, I guess. 
like fuck if you can't pronounce a B twice in a four letter word, you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> like if you use words like that, like you're taking the wrong kind of shortcuts. And you know, you just don't need to do that. <laughs> People are fucked. That's all I could say. They're all just fucked. Well there's that woman again. She ain't cut me off this time though. That's nice. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kinda hungry though. I'm going home and make some lunch. So I got? I got 15 minutes or something. So I'm trying to make some lunch. Make some sandwich with uh, some uh, homemade bread. Picked up some homemade bread there uh, last night. Tasty stuff it is. Tasty stuff. Race the tractor trailer, so I'll just run me down. This is for some time. Just stop. Is he gonna go check out that truck? <laughs> He'll be thoroughly disappointed if he does. Just check on the edge, pop the truck. Oh, me of my, I want to make a pizza pie. Good right now, actually. Go oh, for some fucking pizza. I can tell you that right now. But yeah, I'm getting to where I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. The boss is still over at school, which is good. I don't know what he's doing, but that's usually a good thing. <laughs> It's always good when the boss is not interested in what you're doing because it makes it easier to do your job. Um, anyways, since there's nothing else to tell you about, uh, actually, yes, there is, but I'll have to be back for that. Figured if I'm gonna give you some updates, I might as well update you on this. I forgot all about this, I haven't updated you guys in a little while, so um. You might be able to see down there. That's right, that's a brand new fuel pump I put in there. So that's good. It now pumps fuel. It's a bonus. So I tried to start it, wouldn't run right. I kind of figured that would happen. So, new plugs, new wires, new cap, new button. Still not running right. So, this is the next course of action, it's rebuilt this cocksucker. And possibly clean the points, because the points might not be uh, as clean as they could be. And allowing for proper combustion. I did find out I have a problem though. Down in here. You can't really see it right now, because it isn't actually leaking. But, I have a leaky spot in my red. That sucks. I'm going to have to replace it with something. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to replace it with yet, but some other rad probably from work. I also got some batteries. I got, uh, this is the front battery. I had a battery in the rear and I got the spare one. I don't know actually, to be honest, if I'm going to, I was going to put the spare one in there, but uh, I don't think I'm going to bother because uh, I only really need one battery for the dump box and another one to start the truck. And they're actually connected anyways, so uh, it's no biggie. Now, under there, what is that? Ooh, it looks like somebody had diary of shit under the engine. Well, <laughs> I found out there was a dipstick when I was looking at this, sitting right here. I was like, huh, that's weird. The dipstick's there. See? It's right there. I was like, I don't know what that's for. But I'll grab it just in case. Where is that dipstick? Hey, it's right there. It's like, you know what? I'll grab it just in case. Well, it just so happened down there, you can see right there where it's at. Call this tube up. That's the other dipstick. Turns out that uh, this thing, for whatever reason, has two dipsticks. <laughs> and that's what that was for, was to plug up one of the holes. So. I'm gonna have to either get it geared back up or I'm gonna have to plug that hole. So, uh, 
the adventure could never end. Now, I'm still at a loss for a brake cylinder. I, I don't have one. It fits. And my gas tank is, you can't really see, but my gas tank is not yet installed. Um, I haven't bothered because, well, the truck don't run right. There's no point in installing the tank, not to mention I got to do the bodywork behind the box or behind the tank before I can put the tank back in. So uh, I just haven't got around to that. I'm not a huge fan of bodywork. I find for me it really turns out right, so that's what I don't like about doing it. Check this out. That's been on there since Canada Day. I can't believe it didn't blow off. Oh shit guys, I'm getting close. I'm getting closer to go time. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. Um, I know I haven't updated you on it in a little while. Um, the way my videos go probably won't be that long. Oops, sorry. But it won't be that long as far as my videos go. But uh, for me, it's been a little while, and obviously I have made some progress, as you see, with the new fuel pump. By the way, thank you, Dave. Um, your contribution definitely helped. I had to actually pay for half of that fuel pump, so uh, bonus man, really appreciate it. Um, any little bit helps for that kind of thing. I mean, this truck's going to be an ongoing thing for quite some time. It's not like it's going to be on the road tomorrow, so, uh, you know. A little bit here, a little bit there. I'll keep picking away at it. I tell you, boys, I can't wait till I get to take this fucker for a rip. But it's going to be a long time. I figure probably next year at this point, because I just don't have enough stuff. I don't have enough money, and I don't have enough time. So <laughs> between all that, I figure you know by next next spring I should be able to get everything done that I need to get and everything like that. I don't know why that's in my truck. Okay, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this update. And uh, keep tuned in. You'll see lots more work happening in this little truck in the next while. You never know. You might see some more vehicles in the near future. More different vehicles. Ones you haven't seen before. Unlike this old piece of junk. But, hey, I can't knock it too much. I've had it two years. And it's done me well. Anyways, guys. Talk to you soon.